everyone, this is Yolanda from the Offcrafts channel. In today's video tutorial, I'm just going to show you the techniques for working on a, a corner to corner. This is actually a heart graph, and I made the graph here on some graph paper. I'll have the actual graph that you can um, take a look at on my blog, allcraftschannel.com, and then also upload it to my Facebook page, also All Crafts Channel. So you can download it there or look at it, and then you could use it. In this video, it's not. I'm not going to be going row by row, but I'm going to show you how you start your corner to corner, how you work the increases, and how you then, when you get to the uh, the edge, the greatest point your um, width and height, then how you start forming these straight edges here. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. It's not a um, like I said, it's just an idea to give you how an idea how to make this. If you want to be notified when the complete course on how to work with graphs um, is complete, please fill out the Google Doc forms that I will put a link in the box below. And here you should be seeing it. Uh, hopefully I can put it on the screen. I'm not sure that'll be allowed. But make sure you go there, sign up, and then I, you can ask me, give me some ideas of what other courses you'd like to have. I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial. Please be sure to subscribe, hit that like button, and let's get the party started. Okay, I'm going to be using the white and this really rich color. Um, you can use whichever color you like. Um, and I'm going to be making my heart in the red and then the edges in white. The back, you can. I'm going to do all white, but you could do it in red and whatever colors you want. And um, so basically you just get a piece of graph paper and graph it out. Um, this uh, here, we're going to have actually, it's going to be working in a corner to corner um, style or a stitch. And here we're going to have actually, this is kind of neat because we're going to have eight rows of all white on either side down here in our increases and then the decreases so to begin here um, I split up my red in a couple of balls and then I have a couple of white you can do it whichever way you want if you want to use like bobbins you can do that or you can just use the whole ball which is what I'm going to do so here I'm going to show you how we work when you work the corner to corner it's just what the name implies you're going to be working from one corner to the opposite corner here so here that's going to be our first block our first little uh, square, then we're going to go to row 2, then row 3 coming back this way, then row 4, and we're just going to be working back and forth this way. And as we, we're going up, we're increasing the stitches, and then when we're coming, when we get to the height that we need, or the height and width, then when we start working on the next rows, we're going to be decreasing. So let me show you how that turns out. Um, and here, I'm going to start with the white yarn. So here where I'm going to start, I'm going to begin with just a regular slip loop. And I always leave kind of a little bit of a longer tail because it's easier to sew in the tails. When they're a little longer, when they're too short, it's really hard for me to get them in here. So here, so I can get that out of the way, I'm going to begin by chaining six. One, two, three, four, five and six. Now we're going to start doing a double crochet in each chain beginning on the fourth chain from the hook. Now remember the loop on the hook does not count as a chain. So here's going to be one, two, three, four. Oops. One, two, three, and four. So we're going to have one, two, three double crochets there. To do a double crochet, remember we yarn over, meaning we wrap the yarn around the hook. You're going to go into that fourth chain. You're going to pull out your yarn. There will be two, it's going to be three loops of yarn on the hook, including the loop that's on the hook itself. You're going to pull through the first two and then the second two. Here, then you're going to do a double crochet in the next two chains. So, I'm sorry, I forgot to say I'm using a size G hook and medium weight yarn. So, here's my next one here. So, then every square you do. Is represented by these stitches. So every square here is actually having these uh, three double crochets plus three chains. One, two, three. So you could either think of it as three chains plus three double crochets or you can count this as a double crochet and it would be like four double crochets. So now here we're going to go up to row two. What I do here now is remember now here I'm just going to chain 
this is how I do it. People might do it a little bit differently. I just find it easier this way. So then I'm going to chain six because we're going up. Remember, when we're increasing, we're going up. So here's one, two, three, four, five, and six. I'm going to do the same thing I did here, meaning I'm going to start doing double crochets in the fourth chain from the hook. So one, two, three, four. I'm going to do my one double crochet here. I'm not worried about the position of this square yet. A second double crochet in the next chain. And then my third double crochet in the last chain. Okay? So now when I do it, it looks like this. We're not worried yet. So now once I have that, I need to have this chain three space facing to the left so that I'm going to be working on. So once I've done that, I just don't turn it yet because it's easier to turn to do your chains when they're showing that way. So once you do it, your three double crochets, I'm going to get this one, flip it up, and now here into that chain three gap, I need that gap to my left side. If you're right uh, left-handed, then it would be opposite. I'm going to slip stitch into that chain three space, and now I've connected these spaces, and it's going to look kind of a long line like that. So now what I need to do here is I'm not increasing here so here I'm going to do my chain three one two three and now I'm going to do three double crochets into that three chain space one two and three so now I have row one and this is row two it looks it's hard to see there so let me put it in my hand one row one and row two, which would be represented on the graph here is row one and row two. Now I'm going to go three, four, five until I have eight rows in this way. So this is what you're going to do to keep repeating until you have uh, eight rows. Here's one, two. So here, remember I said every time we're going up to increase, we're adding chain six. So here, I'm just going to chain six, repeat this next row until you have eight. So here's we're going to do one two, three, four, five, six. On the fourth chain from the hook, one, two, three, four. I do one double crochet in each of the three remaining chains there. Oops, I think I just split the yarn. There we go. One. And right now these rows are upside down, but I'm not worried about that yet. Two. It's easier to do your double crochets when you could see the chain than when it's twisted. If you twist it first, then it's hard to see three. Okay, so now I've done my next square. I need to work into the chain three gap. So now I'm going to flip this up. If you want to flip it before you can, but it's hard to see the chains. And then I'm going to chain, slip stitch. Remember, I want my, I'm going to start working on that chain three gap and it has to be going to the left because I'm right handed. I work from right to left. I'm going to go in here, slip stitch. And now I need to make my square, so I'm going to chain three, one, two, three. I'm going to work three double crochets into that chain three gap. Kind of having a hard time because I was holding the hook in an unnatural manner for me too. And three. And now to do my next square, I'm going to slip stitch into that chain three gap once again. I hope I'm working close enough. Do you need it closer? I don't know. This is right there, pull it through there, chain three to go up, one, two, three, three double crochets into that chain three space. You're going to repeat what I just did here in row three until you have eight rows. And you can see here, you can start counting your little squares, one, two, three. Now to go up, once again you chain six, and then you skip the first four, then you one double crochet in each of the next three chains. Once you've done that, then you're going to go flip this up to make sure your chain three gap is pointing up and to the left. Then you attach your stitches like that. If you need to review it, just rewind, stop the video, rewind it, and go back and um, see how I did this. Do that until you have eight rows in white. So here's one, two, three. I'm going to go ahead and do my remaining rows and I'll come back and then we'll start working on the red because in our next row, row nine, we're going to have to pick up 
red in two of the squares. So I'll be back when I finish that. 